It'll be fun. But, uh, you know, just trying to be able to focus on the little things uh, like we've been trying to the whole season. And that's pretty much it. What's been the uh, funnest part so far for you? Uh, the funnest part? It had to be leaving Knoxville. <laughs> we've been we've been in Knoxville for so long. Um, I can't even get this on me. Uh, we've been in Knoxville for so long, you know, just coming out here and playing in a different environment is just fun. You know, having a great time with the guys, coming out to practice, and you know, it, it's just fun. It's a fun time. Did you right get now. a chance to go back to California during Christmas? Or? Yeah, yeah, I actually did. Got to go back see the family. Uh, you know, it's always a great time to see family and. Uh, I call it recharging my battery. You know, sometimes your battery runs low, and then your family's always there to, to carry that for you. You've got several younger brothers and sisters, so yeah. you go back around them and you've not seen them in several months. Do you notice a big difference, and, and, and is that kind of a fun little short stay, but then it's yeah. like time to go back to work? It, yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of scary for me. You know, I don't want to see my brothers and sisters grow. You know, I've always seen them when they were young, uh, and then when they were babies. So seeing that baby face grow out of them, you know, it's kind of like, all right, you know, everybody's growing. I got to step up my game now, too. I'm getting a little old. Trey was wanting some seafood. Like, you guys get, guys get hooked up at the hotel yet? Yeah? Uh, for seafood? Yeah. Uh, we had some lobster, some crab last night. You know, it was pretty good. You know, do a little butter on there. <laughs> do a little butter on the lobster. I had to. Did you need to recharge given your elbow and knee and all the things you played through this season? Did you need some time off? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. You know, just being able to recover that, uh, be able to cover my knee, uh, my elbow. You know, it feels fine now, you know, to be able to have that almost 100%. It was great. Have they been kind of limited in reps during bowl practices for you, trying to get you healthy? Uh, I mean, you know, the, the coaches do a great job of limiting everybody's reps. You know, we don't try to uh, hold one person back or hold another person back. You know, we all they kind of cut the reps down in total. Mm -hmm. um, so, but you know, it's it's the quality of the reps. You know, uh, the, as the coaches cut it down, we have to step it up because uh, every rep counts, you know, every single second counts. So, you know, we're just doing our best as a team. Speaking of picking it up, what's the goal this week as you get closer to, to, to game day as far as practice is concerned? What do you uh, want to accomplish out here in the next couple of days? Just to keep the intensity we had throughout the end of the season. You know, we, we finished the season off strong, uh, but it's not done yet. You know, we came here for one reason, and that's to win a game. You know, uh, everything is fun and games, but at the end of the day, we wanted to come and win. Uh, but so just, you know, carrying that on from the end of the season. Has the install been typical or, or because you guys have had more time? I know you guys focused on yourselves for a while yeah. to start bowl practice, but has this been kind of a typical game week install or have y'all done more things to prepare for Indiana this week? Uh, I mean, to me it's a typical, uh, we just had a longer time. You know, we had more time to really focus in on them, uh, focus on their in and outs and focus on how they're doing. Uh, you know, really it's, uh, I would say it's, it's details. You know, we, we came up with the game, the coaches came up with the game plan, and it's just really focusing on the little things that they do. What do you see in their offense? Uh, they're big, they're physical, um, they're trying to run the ball down their throat, and then uh, they like the quick game. Uh, they like to get the ball out quick, so, you know, we just got to be able to do what the coaches plan out for us and uh, just key on in everybody. What one or two guys have one more question. made a big stride in bowl practice that, that a young guy maybe didn't play a whole lot this year? Is there somebody that stood out to you? Uh, for me, it really, Everybody plays a huge factor. Everybody stepped it up because everybody realizes that we're losing uh, losing a lot of leaders on defense. So everybody, I, I can't really point out one guy. Um, I feel like the, the entire younger guys, including me, uh, I have a lot of room to improve and I have uh, to step up big time next year. So, you know, we're all working as a group. With, with Daryl gone, with, with Tuli, Tuli gone, yeah. with, with Warrior gone, is this your defense after this game? Uh, it's not my defense. It's, it's everybody's defense. You know, it's not just one person. It's 11 guys on the field. Uh, we're a family. We play as one, and that's how it's always going to be. But do you think your leadership changes after the, after this game as far as what you have to be, you know, from a vocal standpoint? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, just being able to make calls like Batuli. Uh, just to realize and doing everything that Batuli did. You know, Batuli is a great leader, and, you know, I just want to carry the torch on from him. This weekend, Daniel, has he been any different this week? This is like his last go yeah. round, last time with you guys, last, last time with you. Yeah. Just kind of, you seen any different from him, or has he kind of been uh, Batuli, uh, it's hard to see expression out of Batuli. It's hard to see, but uh, you know he's enjoying this moment. You know uh, I'm trying to enjoy it with them too. Uh, I'm trying to enjoy this last ride with Batuli while I have it. All right, thanks, Henry. Thank thanks, you, Henry. Thank you.